All right, you guys, so I am back. This is actually the second part of this video. If you haven't seen the first part, um, go ahead and make sure you check that out. I will leave the link to that video in the um, in the description below. But basically what I was saying was um, this is a mystery meet Friday. <laughs> so my parents are actually, well, my dad and some of my nieces are actually on their way down. And I had a human moment, you guys. I waited till the last minute to see to season my meat but i don't want them to know what i'm making so i am trying to go ahead and season this meat get any kind of evidence out of the house so they don't know what's going on so in the first part um i showed you about how i seasoned my um lamb chops and in this one i'm going to show you about our goat meat i've never had curry goat you guys i know that's kind of I, but I've never had curry goat either so I know it's a really popular Jamaican dish so I've looked up some really cool recipes and I'm going to try my own version of it today so the first part is just going to be me marinating so I have it in like actual slices and I have it chopped up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, rinse our goat I'm going to rinse it of course in water and in some lemon juice and then I'm gonna come back and I'm actually gonna well I can actually go ahead and show you my seasonings because I'm not exactly sure how far away they are so I want to get this into a pot and I'm just gonna tell them that it's like beef stew or something like that um, and again I'm gonna wait until they taste it and then I'll actually tell them what it is and I don't know what goat tastes like so maybe it'll taste the same you know they'll just recognize the curry seasoning and they'll just think it's like curry beef stew but we're gonna see um so let's see so i don't even have my seasoning set <laughs> all i have is my curry powder <laughs> so um let's see oh in my time I'll show you the other seasons that I have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and season this so I can discard it, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I am back. My goat is all cleaned, um, and it is ready for seasoning. So I had a recipe in mind that I wanted to use, but I've already gone south, you guys. So <laughs> this is going to be another experiment. I love experimenting, so I'm going to try it. So our seasons today that we're going to use is going to be the um mccormick bourbon pork and i know this says pork and i know i'm making goat but you guys it's just seasoning so as far as the ingredients it says spices it says mustard seed black pepper paprika sea salt brown sugar onions garlic red bell pepper honey um, bourbon whiskey and natural flavors including honey smoke so i know it says pork but i'm gonna try it so Life is about trying new things. You never know. It could be delicious or it could be completely nasty. I don't know. But I'm going to let you know. <laughs> so, um, definitely have to have some curry powder. Um, I'm going to be using ginger, garlic. Yeah, no, I always use garlic, y'all. Um, I wanted to try this. Uh, it is garlic and herb. Let me see what's in here. Garlic, black pepper, onion, um, crushed red pepper, parsley, lemon oil. So kind of same same things that's in our um, this one, our pork seasoning by McCormick, and I'm going to be using some fresh thyme. So outside of those seasons, you guys, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to stick to what I know because this is my first time. Um, I want to create my own recipe. Why not? So I've gone to my good olds my green pepper i have yellow red orange and a whole onion i'm actually going to season my water you can see the steam rising so i was just waiting for it to boil and i could feel the heat on my arm i'm a little too close to the stove but so i'm gonna um dice these i'm gonna dump them in there so i'm gonna make sure um, my water is flavored my meat is flavored and then i'm thinking about um adding some fresh um, carrots and um, potatoes to it. I was going to attempt to do some authentic um, peas and rice, but mm, 
I don't know. But if, in the event that I don't add my potatoes, I'm just going to do rice. This is the um, yellow rice and red beans. This is like the Mexican one. I love Mexican rice, y'all. I do. But so as far as water, um, I don't know how much water this is. It may be five or six cups i don't know so the only thing is going to happen if it's too much water in here i'm going to make i'm going to turn it into a roux so all i'll do is add some flour to it to thicken it up and it's going to be fine so that's why um my concern is mostly just making sure that water is flavorful so we'll see i'm just going to go ahead season this with all of those seasons that i told you got told you about and i'll be back all right, you guys, so you can see into my pot now, you can see that our water is boiling. So the reason that it's brown, all I have in here right now is some salt and pepper, um, and that's it. The only thing is why I like to do it when it's, when it's boiling is because if not, your season is just gonna all sit, it's all gonna sink to the bottom. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, here you go, our peppers, green, orange red yellow and then our onions like you know when i was telling you the seasons it already has some of these in here but i really like to have um the freshness you know the taste of it fresh so all i'm gonna do is just go ahead and sit this in the water i would just plop it but i don't want to get burnt but i think i'm gonna try it anyway so all i'm gonna do is put this in here um let me just do that look let me step all the way back y'all <laughs> safety first right at all times safety first so I'm gonna put all of that in there I'm actually gonna throw my thyme in there sprinkle some in that and as far as measurements you guys I don't know that's why I'm actually just going ahead and letting you see me do it and then you tweak it according to what you like and if it's something that you generally cook then you probably already have the perfect recipe but I'm trying to um, come up with something new so I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in there I'm gonna put what they say a tablespoon of butter and just throw that bad boy in there just like so come on Woo! okay so like I said it's only salt and pepper in there there is some um, salt pepper now all of my onions and peppers and all I'm gonna add additional to this look I'm thinking um hmm I don't know I might just leave it but I'm always doing something, you guys. I'm always doing something. I don't want it too spicy. Like I said, I know my nieces can handle spice. My dad, yeah, but not always. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this curry season in there. Because I just feel like I want to do something else. Like, I just, I'm always doing something. It's just me. So, if you can see... Let me move this over. I just want to show you our meat. Now that it's seasoned, I'm going to hold it over the pot really quick because I don't want to get burnt. But that's what our meat looks like seasoned. All I'm going to do, I actually want this to, um, I want this to simmer some. I don't have a top, a lid that's big enough for this. So I'm actually going to use my, um, my pizza lid, my, um, pizza pan. Let me see where that is. So I have to find it. So um, I say that just to say, if you don't have a lid for your pan, it's okay to improvise. Um, just use something that you have that's big enough. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this um, steam. I'm gonna let all this goodness um, begin to marinate for about like maybe 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna um, throw my meat in there and allow it to cook with it. So let's see. Only because, like I said, I, I'm making this for my family and I don't want them to wait long to eat. So I'm going to be ahead of things. So I'll let you know. All right, you guys. So it's about that time. And I want you to remember, you guys, that steam is hot. So let me get something over my hands. 
before I mess with this. And I'm actually going to go ahead and vent it some. You see all that steam? I'm not trying to get burnt because that is not cute. So I'm going to let some of the steam out first before I try to completely open it. Um, do be aware of whatever, um, what, what you're using. So, like, this is my, um, pizza pan. So, at the bottom, because, like, the condensation and everything, like, that's, um, rising, the steam and stuff, the bottom of your pan is gonna have water on it. So, just be careful. You don't want to get burned because it will be wet. So, just a little FYI. So, can you see that? Yes, you can. Let me bring you a little closer, but... I'm just going to stir it. It smells really good already, you guys. It smells really, really, really good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add our goat to the pan. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this so I don't get popped with all this hot water. But it'll probably be better if I just plop it. But let me see if I can, look, gradually put some in there. I'm just going to go ahead and put it, oh, let's see. Ah, you guys, I don't want to get, pop. so let me go this way. And hopefully I won't get pop by no water. Ah, ah, go in there. There we go. Now, at this point, you do have the option, you guys, you can, like, if you want all this additional um, seasoning, you could like, you know, try to use your spoon and get it out. You can use some water. That's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some water from in here and see if I can just, like, swish it around and get this seasoning out. And this is completely optional. You ain't got to do it. Um, there's enough seasoning in this water and on that meat that you do not have to get this off of, but I'm going to... You might not get all of it, but it's all good. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover, allow it to simmer, and I'll wash that so it'll be less dishes for me later on. And when I come back, I'll actually let you know how long um, this actually cooks for. I want to make sure that the meat is tender. I, um, since it, like I said, since it's my first time, I don't um, know how long it's going to take for it to get tender. Now, it's completely easy for me to just go on Google and see how long it takes to cook goat meat, but I don't wanna do that. So, I'm just going to play it by ear, and I'm gonna watch it, and I'm gonna see, so. Cover that back up. Y'all, this smells so good. And curry always has like that distinctive smell. Mm, the waft is real, you guys. But, oh, go ahead and cover that bad boy up. Make sure that you pay attention to um, your pan. Anytime you have anything on this on this stove, you know, just make sure you keep an eye on it. Um, you know, steam rising, sometimes it'll like come over. So, just watch it and we'll see. I'll be back and I'll, um, well, I'll actually come back. So, this video isn't super duper long. I'll actually come back when me and the fam is trying it and just let you know their reviews so thanks in advance for watching see you soon now you know it's gonna be steam you guys i told you steam was hot <laughs> so make sure that you pay attention there's a um spoon over there what does it smell like what does it smell it like, like in curry. Here? okay it does have curry in it mm -hmm. you can smell the curry okay well then curry chicken What's it look like? It ain't covered ox tail, that's for sure. It gotta be curry chicken. Stir it. You clean over here? Yeah, it's clean. Oh. Where's chicken at? That's not bad, that chicken. That's like a rib bone. Ah. That's pork chop. Does it smell good? Yeah, you get the one in there. It's cute.
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's fix that. See you guys, that's why you should taste your food. <laughs> it looked like a lot of seasoning. <laughs> well, do you want to help me season it? Mm. <laughs> Alright you guys, so it is time to try it. Our first taste tester is going to be Trinity. Go ahead, let's see. Salty, okay. Well, someone did say that there was no seasoning in it, so we had to um, add some more seasoning in there. <laughs> so, let's see. The proprietor of the Hickey Rose House of Soul. Yes, 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 yes. And we did end up adding rice to it. <laughs> Good. You can taste the salt. <laughs> okay, so two votes for salty. Please pass the salt. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what Miss Kalina has to say. <laughs> Yay! Points for smelling good. <laughs> Don't be shy. Yeah, I'm just thinking of pasta. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it must not taste good. <laughs> okay, what's your honest opinion now? Mm. What is it? I'm done. I don't know if it's going to make sense or not, but like how it looks is not how. I would expect it to taste. Okay. It's not bad. And it's not as salty as they made, like, kind of made me think it was gonna be. It's just the meat. Like, the rice and everything is good. Just the meat is a little salty. Okay. Mm, give it like a 7 out of 10. Alright, so, Destiny, what do you have to say? <laughs> it, it's it's it's, it's kind of moaning, you guys. Like, it, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> everyone's saying that it's salty. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so we have three votes for salty, one for it's okay. Um, so can you guess what kind of meat it is? We're Trinity? To to us? Yeah, I'm talking to you, girl. Is this a guessing game? Yeah, it's a guessing game. Um, okay, four? Trinity, so what do you think it is? Three. What? Pork. Pork, okay, Miss Alira. Pork, sorry. Kalina, Trent, Destiny, Pork. Okay. It's a goat. Yeah. Go! It's a goat. <laughs> Do not die. <laughs> and I knew it tastes like a lamb, but I didn't want to say anything. Because you know how you have curry goat, so I wanted to try curry goat. like, But it's my <laughs> It's our first time. So I'm going to say that it, the rice is okay, but everything else is bad, right? No, it's not bad. It's just a little salty. Where'd you get gold? From the um, supermarket. From the meat market. I was going to say, it tastes like a lamb taco. Yeah. Go do have a lot of little fine bones. I mean, I used to go get it from the Jamaican restaurant. But nobody don't feel like they got to throw up, right? No. You never had a goat? Yes, you had, you had lamb. 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 Lamb.
<laughs> All right, yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. Make sure you clean up what? Think you got corona. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>